Today I'm going to show you how to hand stitch your black tape onto your mannequins so that it's there forever and the pins don't get in the way while you're doing your draping. It's good to use a twill tape so that it moulds around the curves nicely without getting any ripples in it and we usually use black so that it shows up through the calico fabric. Generally you'll just tape one side of your mannequin, it's usually this side and you'll mark on and decide where you want your reference points, making sure that you're creating a shape that you want and not necessarily following the seam lines of your mannequin. So getting in here nice and close to my dear old girl here, I'm going to demo on this other side of my mannequin. I've got my black tape pinned on where I want it, so I'll just tidy that up a bit. Okay, and I've prepared my needle. And what I mean by that, I'm using a nice long needle and I've bent it a little bit with a candle and some pliers. That way it makes it easier just to go in and scoop up your fabric, especially if your mannequin's not very padded. So I'm sure there's a YouTube video someone has already done on how to bend a needle. So go and find that one. And I've also got a contrast thread so that hopefully you can see what's happening. And I've just started up here at the shoulder. I'm gonna do this standing up. But to be honest, sometimes it's easier to lay your mannequin down on a table or even on the floor so that you can get the right angle for your stitching. And we're going to do what's called a diagonal based stitching. And I'm trying to get my stitches so that they're as close in to the edge of the tape as possible. So with my needle, I'm just scooping up, working in and out of that tape, going from right to left. And coming down about a centimeter and again, edge of the tape in and out. you'll want to make sure your stitching is about a centimeter apart any further than that and i must admit the tapes can come a bit loose and any closer than that it's going to take you forever so in and out diagonal in and out so as you're taking your needle in and out of the tape you're working straight across at a 90 degree angle from the tape and then you're moving down a centimeter working left to right you'll find that your thread is going to get tangled up on all the pins that you've got in the, in the mannequin. So make sure you're working in a good direction where, you know, you're not getting all tangled up. And like I said, it's often much easier just to lay your mannequin down on the table or the floor so that things aren't getting, threads aren't getting tangled up. Make sure the tape stays nice and taut. You can see I'm sort of moving the pins as I go and making sure I'm pulling nice and tight. And of course, do a section, stand back and have a look. Make sure it's still sitting where you want to. It's nothing worse than doing the whole seam. And then when you stand back and have a look, it's a little bit crooked. Fastening off when you need to, of course, and continuing on. So hopefully you can got a good idea and you can see that nice and clearly. And once you've done all of your taping, of course, that'll be there always every time just for reference points. And hold on to that adhesive tape for just individual designs when you're only going to use it once or twice. 
So for my permanent reference points, I like to use my center front and center back as a permanent reference. My neckline, my shoulder, my bust, my waist and my low hip level. And then as an optional, I'll go in and do that princess line if that's something I'm using a lot. And also the high hip 10 centimeters down if that's a reference point you'll use a lot. So remember, it's up to you. You're deciding what reference points are important to you and your business. But these are just the basics that we would use. Thanks for watching.